Hi, I'm Dr. Singh, one of the staff veterinarians here at the Humane Society of Broward County. We'd like to congratulate you on adopting a dog from us. At the Humane Society of Broward County, your pets are our pets, and even after you've adopted them, we continue to treat them with the same care and respect we give our own pets. We've created this video to help you understand what exactly heartworm disease is and to guide you through the treatment process. Dyrofilaria imidis, the proper name from heartworms, is spread by mosquitoes. If an infected mosquito bites your dog, that mosquito deposits immature heartworms on your dog's skin, and over the next six months, the worms migrate from the skin to the heart. Over time, the worms grow in size and will start reproducing. These worms are often the size of spaghetti noodles. If left untreated, they will cause permanent damage to the heart and may eventually lead to death. Heartworm disease is diagnosed by a simple blood test. We take three to four drops of blood and place it into a special test with the reagent. If the blood reacts, then we know we have heartworms present. In the next section, we'll discuss the course of treatment for dogs that test positive for heartworm disease. Here at HSBC, we follow the guidelines set up by the American Heartworm Society. Once a dog has tested positive for heartworms, we immediately begin the treatment process, so the treatment is already started before you even begin to adopt the dog. Heartworm treatments usually last around 90 days and consist of a combination of heartworm preventative, antibiotics, and injectable medications. Although the treatment is time sensitive, we may vary the timeline based on your particular dog. Prior to adoption, your dog will be given its first dose of heartworm prevention here at the Humane Society. Depending on how long your pet has been here, he or she may receive another dose of heartworm prevention. This medication not only prevents more mosquitoes from infecting your pet, but also starts the treatment process by killing the baby worms in his or her blood. On the day of adoption, you will be sent home with an oral antibiotic called doxycycline. This antibiotic is given for 30 days. The antibiotic actually weakens the adult heartworms in the heart and primes them for treatment with the injectable medication. We recommend giving it twice daily with food. You will also be sent home with a six month supply of the heartworm preventative. Please remember to give this medication monthly for the rest of your pet's life. After your dog's third dose of heartworm prevention and the completion of the 30 day cycle of antibiotics, we can now begin the injectable treatment to kill the adult heartworms. On the morning of the first treatment, please do not feed your dog. He or she may have dinner the night before, but please refrain from feeding after midnight. Your appointment will take approximately 30 to 60 minutes. We will take your pet back to our treatment area and give him or her pain medications. Keep in mind that we may need to sedate your pet if your pet is particularly anxious. After a small patch of hair is clipped and cleaned, the heartworm medication will be injected into the muscle. Because the injection is deep into the muscle, your pet may be in pain afterwards. We will send you home with pain medications to help with this. In another 30 days, you will return with your pet for two days in a row for two more injections. Again, you will need to fast your pet after midnight the night before and return to the shelter in the morning where we will perform the injection. At this time, please remember to purchase additional heartworm preventative. About six months after the initial injection, you and your furry friend will return to the Humane Society for another heartworm test to confirm the treatment was successful. At this point, you only need to continue heartworm preventative monthly for life. In the next section, we'll discuss how to monitor your pet after his or her injections. To avoid serious complications, it is of the utmost importance that you keep your dog quiet and calm during the treatment process, especially for the two months of treatment once the injections have begun. The reason for this is that the injections we give can cause the heartworms to slowly dissolve. If your dog is running, jumping, or playing, parts of the dying worms could break off and possibly find their way into your dog's lungs and cause an embolism. This is a very serious condition whose symptoms include coughing, lethargy, fever, increased respirations, and difficulty breathing, and coughing up blood. If you see any of these signs, contact us immediately, or if it is after hours, consult with an emergency veterinarian. Hopefully, this answered most of your questions regarding heartworm disease and heartworm treatment. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us.